Hey everyone, this is DIY Photo Guy and Evelyn, and we're going to show you how to do your very own product photography. Alright guys, this is a tutorial for product photography with the reflective surface. Here I went and purchased a black glass table from Ikea. Also, I went ahead and got a black window blind. Now this one was also from Ikea, and uh, as you can see I got $35 in the table and about $15 in the window blind. Uh, here is the table, a little bit dirty, but I cleaned it up for the shot. I also used a flash, a wireless transmitter, a camera with a nifty 50, and a tripod. Uh, also, uh, I needed to get a white reflector and put that in. So here's the basic setup. I have the table down on my coffee table. I have the camera, the receiver, and uh, obviously got the uh, reflector. This is just a close-up of my camera and the transceiver I have and the uh, 50 millimeter lens on my Pentax camera. And uh, just kind of setting things up here, your, uh, your flash will come with a little foot. You, you can uh, hook up to a regular tripod. So I went and turned that up, put that on there. Um, and I used the uh, diffuser there, you can see, and hooked up to my tripod. What's nice about this Yong Nuo flash, this is the 564 an IV. Uh, it lets you use one of these uh, remote triggers so you can control all the settings on the flash and you can uh, obviously trigger the flash all remotely. Uh, so uh, I went ahead and already had my settings all kind of configured here and uh, I have the white reflector on the other side. So essentially the light is bouncing from the flash onto the subject which is the lens hitting the reflector and then kind of giving me a nice fill light on the left hand side. Uh, so here we are in Lightroom. You can see the light is nice and uh, covers that right hand side of the lens here in this case. And I still got that reflection down onto the surface. And then uh, some nice light bounced up on the left hand side there. So uh, in Lightroom here, I'm just going to do some real basic edits, sort of some straightening and sort of some uh, adjusting some sliders like the clarity and the contrast. I almost always add just a little bit of contrast and uh, kind of boost the blacks just a little bit um, and uh, that really kind of gets you in the right direction. The rest of this I'm going to edit in Lightroom but I'd like to, or sorry, in Photoshop, but I'd like to stop and just say just a little bit about what I was doing with camera settings. So, and uh, basically I, I went ahead and set my camera to ISO 400. I almost always start somewhere right around there just because I don't want the flash to be overworked when it's lighting the subject. And, uh, you know, and then I just sort of, you know, boost up the flash until I feel that it's not uh, too bright, but it's still lighting the subject. In this case, um, I set the 400 again, like I said, I set the ISO to 400 and uh, also I set the aperture to F8. So um, a lot of you out there have something like the kit lens or you might have a nifty 50 like I did in this shoot. Um, whatever you have, that's fine. Just use what you have. If you have the kit lens, just extend the lens out to 55 millimeters, stop it down to f8, and uh, zoom in, like in this case, zoom in and grab your focus, and you'll be good to go. Uh, start at ISO 400 like I did, and then you can just adjust the flash settings. Um, I ended up going with 1 over 32, and you'll see that whenever you're adjusting the flash. And for me, that's what worked in this case. I needed just enough light to hit the right-hand side of the lens, and then I needed enough to sort of pass by the lens and then bounce off of that white reflector you saw just to sort of light up the left-hand side here of this, of this lens. And again, that, that reflector, you can purchase that from Amazon. They're about 20 bucks. And, uh, you know, you could use that or you could use a piece of paper or uh, like from a hobby store there, are, of course, there are those uh, uh, for science fair projects, whatever those are called, those white boards. Um, and, you know, for the background here, uh, I just so happen to have this uh, window blind. You could really use anything that's black. Uh, so anyway, what I'm doing now in Photoshop is I'm just using the healing brush and sort of picking a spot that looks okay and sort of cloning out any of the little dust particles that I see or the little hairs. And you might not be able to see it here on YouTube, but uh, there were plenty of little dust specks. Maybe if I zoom in here in a couple minutes, you might see it. I found that the healing brush does a pretty good job um, at covering things up. 
Uh, what's nice about it is whenever you s make a selection somewhere, I, I'm using Windows, so I click Control and then you click somewhere, that moves the point. No matter where you move from that point, that's where it's going to basically use as a reference. So as soon as you make that first selection, from now on as you move around, it'll always start where you made your selection as like the reference point. And there's plenty other tutorials about the healing brush and how that works. Uh, but that's what I was using here to sort of do my initial work. Then I move on to the uh, clone stamp tool. Um, but as you can see, the healing brush kind of works like a clone stamp to tool sometimes too with some limitations and it's all just sort of like a you know a feel thing you'll you'll get a good hang of it um, just to give you an idea of how long it took for me to do this project I set this up probably in 20 minutes I came in here and worked in Lightroom and Photoshop for about another 20 minutes and uh, you know you're gonna see here in a minute I'm gonna export this back into Lightroom and uh, you know just kind of finish up my edits there uh, as far as uh, just adjusting the blacks and stuff just a little bit more um, all in all I was under an hour in doing this and uh, you know if of course if you had everything kind of out and knew what your settings were going to be I'm sure you could be faster at this um, this would be ideal for somebody who you know was doing running an eBay store or you know just wanted to really make a product that they were selling look as best as it possibly could and uh, you know this was super simple super simple to do easy setup um, you know totally available for anybody who wanted to do it and you really don't need that much you know ultimately um, you would need to purchase maybe one of these glass tables and uh, you know maybe one of the window blinds and if you already have your basic camera with your 18 to 55 lens you could just stop it down to f8 um, and really you need a flash that's what you would need to buy and in my case I had the wireless receiver but you, you honestly wouldn't even need to have that. You could just reach over and adjust your flash to whatever you needed it to be. Uh, here you can see I'm back in Lightroom. I'm done with Photoshop. I went ahead and grabbed a adjustment brush and used the uh, clarity and I just went ahead and moved that way down and just sort of brushed in where the rest of those little hairs and dust particles were and uh, really that did a fine job at kind of cleaning that up. I also adjust the black levels just a little bit more just to sort of make those blacks really rich and uh, as you can see here uh, I'm really happy with the results. I think it turned out really good and uh, I, ultimately I didn't have a lot of time in this. Uh, so uh, anyway I hope this helps. Uh, please let me know in the comments if this was helpful and if you'd like to see other videos just like this. Thanks a lot.